Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, a senior player moderator for the game League of Angels Fire Raiders. Welcome back to another video. This is the second video on my channel, and I'm happy to be doing this. So, let's hop right in. Today, I would like to take a sneak peek kind of look at the new hero. Not Angel, like I said in my update 3.2 content video. I was mistaken and corrected it. Unfortunately, I can't actually correct the audio track, but I corrected it in my posts. But now, I would like to do a sneak peek on the new hero, Draconia, that will be coming in this update. This is not going to be a long video, just slightly going over her skills and some of my thoughts. So hopping right into the first skill. Um, don't know what this one's called. A Breath of Crimson Flames damages all targets in a line in front of Draconia, with the chance to burn targets for two turns. And this chance will be increased by a percentage every level. Repeatedly attack the target in front of Draconia, damage increases with each attack, and also reduces the target's defense, which lasts for two turns. And damage increases by a flat amount every upgrade. Draconia conjures the might of the dragons to increase her HP, attack, defense, hit, and rage for two turns. And this will scale by a percentage with every level. And launches a searing flame at the target with the lowest HP, dealing massive damage with the chance to burn for two turns. And this will also scale by a percentage. So, um, this looks like a very burn-oriented hero. And with the potential to do insane damage. Because as we all know, Blaze, if these are indeed Blazes, Blaze does a lot of damage. Probably the highest Condi damage in the game. And it looks like if these two abilities here, these two Ignites, from uh, the first skill and the fourth skill, if these can trigger on top of each other, this could be huge. This would allow for almost instant burst that could bring down a hero in two turns. Probably, this would be pretty crazy. A chance to burn target for two turns. So we don't, so Ignite Chance 61, that I'm probably assuming that's 60%. So that's a pretty high chance to burn a target, and with the amount of damage this could be doing, this could be a very devastating hero. It'll probably work well with um, heroes like Nightblade, Amazon Hunter, heroes that uh, target lines. Uh, depending on how tanky this hero is, because I believe, yeah, she is a warrior, so she could be decently tanky. So you could have a line of her, let's say her in the top, uh, top left, if, okay, not top left. Her in the top front, and then Nightblade in the top back. You would have a devastating combo that would probably bring down the line that they're facing pretty much completely in a matter of probably one or two, you could probably do it in one turn. Um, this second attack looks like uh, Numbing Poison from Amazon Hunter. It looks relatively the same. Damage increase with each attack. Oh, this seems more like Berserker Claws. So it's a mix between Berserker Claws and Amazon Hunter's skills. Uh, this doesn't look like it'll be the best ability. Um, Depends how much the de defense decreases by, the damage increases by a flat amount, so it, it's not going to scale super well. I think this is probably her weakest ability. This is a very interesting ability. I think this could be very, very strong, considering this is the level 1 upgrade. When you get that up pretty high level, you could be getting, like, plus 25% to all of this. And then, you could be doing some insane damage. The fourth skill dealing massive damage with a chance to burn massive damage on its own. Uh, we don't know how much massive damage obviously is. Hitting the target with the lowest HP. So, the fact that this does massive damage, a chance to burn, and hits the target with the lowest HP could be a bad thing. This all depends. Um, let's say the lowest target with the lowest HP is, say, a bamboo fighter with 5% health. You waste the massive damage, you waste the chance to burn, and the skill is basically useless at that point. Like, an auto attack could have finished Bamboo Fighter off, but instead you had to blow, like, this really powerful ability. I think it would be would have probably been better to hit a target with higher health. I can see how, at, maybe at the beginning of the fight, this would be very useful, because the lower health targets are going to be the ones in the back line. So this could be useful there, but it could also not be useful at other times in the fight. So, overall, um... It doesn't really say how often, like, the second, third, and fourth ability will occur. If they occur every, like, one or two turns, 
um, especially the fourth ability. This could be, she could fit snugly into the meta, that currently a extremely high burst damage meta. I think she could fit really well into that. So, of course, we'll have to see. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments. I thank you for watching my video, and have a good night.